last example we're going to look at uh, dealing with our composite functions uh, or our com combination of functions uh, is this one so we'll just go back and refer to this one uh, f plus g of x so again it's important that you understand that means f of x plus g of x so basically what we're doing is we're adding our two functions together uh, our f function is given, us, given to us as the square root of x plus 3 and our g function is given to us as the square root of x minus 2. Well, when you add those two things together, we would love to add our radicals together, but to be able to do that, you have to have the same index, which we do, and the same radicand, which we do not. In the past, we've manipulated our radicands to try to get the same one, but we can't simplify either of these. So our answer for f plus g of x is actually the square root of x plus 3 plus the square root of x minus 2. Now, the reason that we're doing this example is because of our domain. So to find the domain of this, as you can see, we're going to look at both the domain of f of x and g of x, because as you can see, they both exist in our composite function, I mean in our combination of functions. So first of all, we'll find the domain of f of x. Well, our domain of f of x, we would set x plus 3 as greater than or equal to 0, and then you would solve it, so you're going to get x has to be greater than or equal to negative 3. Well, if you think about that uh, on a nice little number line, uh, let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay, on a number line, uh, then you would be at negative 3, and you'd have a closed circle here, and you would shade in this direction. So that's the domain for f of x, and now what we'll do is we'll look at the domain for g of x. Uh, when you do this, you get x minus 2 uh, greater than or equal to 0. Uh, when you solve this, you'll get x has to be greater than or equal to 2. So this domain is going to look like this. All right. So now our domain for our answer for f plus g of x is actually going to be the one that limits the domain the most. Hopefully in chemistry you've studied what is a limiting reagent, and what that means is when you uh, combine two substances and they form a compound, you're going to be limited by one that's going to basically run out the first, run out uh, earliest. So in this one, uh, you know, even though we have numbers like zero will work for this one, when you plug in zero, we can't take the square root of zero. So our domain is actually going to be uh, this one right here. So the domain for f plus g of x is going to be x has to be greater than or equal to 2 because that's the domain uh, from our, our combination of functions that's going to limit our domain the most. And of course the interval notation for that, 2 comma infinity, they bracket around the 2.